a continuing series on my Giant Mo made by Giant Vac. This thing is uh, out of production since the very early 2000s. This is a model number MK, excuse me, M4815KAWV. Doesn't matter, you can't get it in anymore. 15 horsepower Kawasaki motor. And, uh, you know, you can get that. You can get uh, parts for the peerless transmission. Uh, my series that I'm trying to put together here is, you know, for posterity that you can get parts to fix yours up because they mow great. I really like how compact they are. They're very easy to, uh, to maneuver and get in tight spaces because they are so short. And I have another Toro that's exactly, you know, I mean, a lot of these things probably come from a common manufacturer. And so the Toro is uh, about a foot longer, the distance between like the wheel and the deck. And then it's got a floating deck, whereas this one doesn't. Uh, but it mows really, really good. Maybe you could get into a scalping situation if you were trying to haul butt and the mower deck started to bounce a little bit, but I don't, I don't have that issue because, you know, I'm not using it commercially. I use it for my house. So let me switch. Maybe that will help. So, hey, how do I change the, the belts? I will post the, the part number for this. I was able to find this. It is a double V belt. Just like this one didn't necessarily need to be changed but when it lasts for a long long time and so this is a pretty simple process and uh, I won't take you all the way but think of this as being something that you could do in the field so the first thing that you want to do is disconnect it uh, from this bar so that's step one very simple that's just a, uh, a cotter pen and a washer all right step two there is the same thing uh, down here. I'm trying to maneuver around. There's this piece here, right? Same way, it plugs into, all right, like that, okay? So as I slide back, right, that makes that challenging to move. Watch, I pull that out. So now, all right, that was step two, all right? And then step three was, and, and you don't have to do this, uh, but it does make it a little bit easier. Step three is, and that's actually on the inside. It goes here, like that, and then that goes up in there. So loosen, uh, once you take these two off, and really what I could have done is just taken it off on this side, and then it would have just hung down, like that. So I took the extra step of, of removing it from both sides. And that will be, it's not under tension like that, so that will be easy to put back together. So. You've done those three steps, and then look at the access that we have here. It's under no tension whatsoever. In fact, look at that. I can, if I had my other hand, I could hold it up there. All right, and then from there, I've already dropped it off the top of these pulleys. You can see that. And there's a, a bolt down there just to keep it from skipping off. And then I've got mine uh, sitting on top of, of a, uh, a jack here. All right, and then, so, boom, there we go. All right, and, and as far as a part number that says it's a Raptor RP48202A, I will post that along with a link for where I got it. it. Wasn't very expensive. I think I paid 50 bucks for both belts. And so in this series that I've done, uh, this is the drive belts, and I'll probably make another uh, one more video after this on how to adjust it. Um, maybe even a follow-on video after that on the peerless transmission, but I think there's plenty of those that are out there on rebuild. So the next video that I'll make is, is uh, after I've gotten them installed, cleaned up, and then I will, uh, how do you adjust it? Because it will pull to the left or the right if you uh, don't have them set Um evenly because they use a brake and I'll show you where that's at real quick and then we'll we'll end it so that as I jiggle that so the belt rides here and then that think of it's just like a um, it's a drum brake in fact you can hear it so it's like a centered pad that's on there and as I as I pull that up or down it locks onto you know it locks onto the that hub and it will pull in that direction
So that's a really simple adjustment. We just use, um, you know, we just use these series of, of links. All right, so we're getting closer to have this thing ready to mow for another 20 years. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks.